Okay, David, congratulations on being US champion. You must Thanks. be looking now to carry that momentum into the Diamond League. Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, every Diamond League goal is the same. Try to get the four uh, maximum points. Uh, you know, win the Diamond League trophy this year is, a, is another goal of mine. I would love to win it for the third time. And, you know, these meets will, you know, performing well here uh, will put me in a good position to do that. You set your PB here back in 2010. You must be pretty excited to be back in Paris. Uh, yeah, I've been back to Paris a couple of times since then. Things haven't gone as well, you know, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, there's always tomorrow. You know, that's, that's, a, that's always the saying, and that's a good saying because uh, tomorrow's a new day. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good coming off the American Championships. And, uh, you know, we'll just see how it goes, man. I'm just be relaxed, run a good race, hopefully, and we're going to look up at the scoreboard, and hopefully it'll be something that'll be a, an amazing performance for me. We can expect the French fans to be right behind the French athletes. How do you prepare for something that, like that on the start line, like with the noise as they're announced? Oh, it's cool. You know, I, I'm an 11-year vet at this, so I've been to plenty of places, China, you know, listening to them when they introduced Lu Xiang, even back here, you know, back in 2006 when uh, they were introducing Laji after the year after he won his world title. So, I mean, I've been in that uh, situation plenty of times, but uh, it's just, I mean, it'll go away. And then it'll be quiet at the start, just like it always is. And you have to be focused and you put your feet in those blocks and hands behind that white line. And when that gun goes off, be ready to rock. Do you have anything that you say to yourself mentally, either on the start line or as you go into your blocks? Is there any kind of reassuring words that you give yourself? No, I really just like to make sure my mind and my head's clear. I like to just, you know, concentrate on my breathing because, you know, every time I go to the starting line, my heart feels like it's in my throat. You know, I'm very nervous, but I just like to try to calm myself and calm my breathing and and just uh, just execute what I've been doing all the, you know, all year in training, you know, for the past 10 years or so of my career. Just do what you've been doing and, you know, everything will be fine. And that's the beauty of track and field. You know, if, if you run and you don't like what happened, you have another meet coming up soon, so just execute and get it done there. The Wanton hurdlers aren't afraid to race each other in the Diamond League. How do you think that's helping to really push the event forward? Uh, I think it really helps. I think that's always been the tradition of the 110 hurdlers. We've never ducked and dodged and, you know, tried to not go to certain races or whatever to race certain people. You know, I'm a competitor. I love to compete. Uh, you know, I love to win the best people are on the line because then at the end of the day, you know where you stand. You know, when you're running against the best and you're getting the job done, then you know, hey, I, I'm, you know, up there, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. But if you're running against the best and you're coming up short a lot, then you know you've got work to do. So it's, it's, it takes question out of uh, the equation. Well, best of luck for tomorrow, and uh, we'll hope to speak to you after. Thank you very much. Thanks.